Well, I'm hoping that this show is not outdated by the time Friday rolls around. It's the UTEP Football Coaches Show presented by Speaking Rock. Joined now by UTEP head man Dana Demmel. And coach, I say that because I can't even remember the last time the UTEP Miners took the field, now scheduled to kick off against North Texas this Friday. You remember when it was, the last time you were out there with your team? Well, it was UTSA. I'm not sure what the date was. And then we were talking here just a little bit ago as well. Then the game before that was Charlotte, which was, as, as, to the best of my memory, it was late October. And so we're talking about, you know, just a couple games in the last six, seven weeks. It's been a really interesting time. North Texas, you guys were originally scheduled to host here at the Sun Bowl this weekend, but now the game moved to Denton, Texas. Is that because North Texas was a little hesitant to come here to El Paso given the COVID situation? Absolutely. They they were not, you know, they were hesitant to come. And so, you know, it was either not play or go and play there. And so we took the, you know, option to go play there because we want to play football for the reasons I talked about, you know, uh, earlier. Uh, uh, just the fact that I want my young guys to get on the field and play the game and get better. You know, I want all these guys to get out there, play better. And we got, you know, a chance to get to a 500 record this late in the season. So that's a big opportunity for us as well. In your opinion, I know you've talked about El Paso being a safe place to host a college football game. You have uh, been adamant about wanting to host games here at the Sun Bowl this season. Do you really think it's that much safer in the Dallas Metroplex than here in El Paso? Oh, I don't, I don't think so at all. I think El Paso is very safe right now. You know, I mean, obviously, obviously you have to be cautious in every community you're going to be in. So I don't think we're in any more hazard here than, they would, than we would be in Dallas. You know, obviously that was not our decision. It was a decision that they had made not to come here. And last week, you did have four members of your secondary all de uh, declare their intentions to enter the transfer portal. Did that take you by surprise at all? You know, uh, the timing of it did just a little bit. You know, one of them had already opted out, so he wasn't playing during the season. You know, the other three, we didn't expect them to come back next year. And so really, you know, it doesn't hurt our long-term plans, but obviously it made some adjustments for this game. You know, and for this game, it's going to help. The, the positive part of it is we're going to do, you know, just like North Texas is doing, is play a lot of young guys and get some young guys opportunities to get better for next season. And coach, you and I were just joking around. Fortunately, you guys aren't playing a team that throws it around a whole lot and, and, and won't be challenging your secondary, right? Want to talk a little bit about the playing style from North Texas? Yeah, North Texas is high tempo, uh, you know, up pace style of offense. They're averaging 6.8 yards per game. They're very, uh, as of a couple weeks ago, they were number two in the country in total offense. That's dropped off the last couple weeks, but they're, they're rated very high. And they'll be a great test. And like I said, again, we'll learn from it. We'll get better from it. Those young secondary guys will definitely improve and it'll make them better football players. And lastly, Coach, this could be the last game of the season for the Miners, but as you continue to build this UTEP program, you've taken some big steps this season, but what's the difference between 4-4, four and four, given a win against the Mean Green Friday, and 3-5? and five with, Yeah, with... Great, great point, Nate. You know, we've made some huge strides. We had some super uh, momentum going. We were playing some really good football. Even our losses, we were playing extremely well, and so we wanted to keep that momentum going. We didn't necessarily get a chance to do this, and this allows us to get a, great, a big win at the end of the year and reestablish that momentum be just a significant significant victory for the program utep try to take a major step forward in the rebuild looking to get to four and four we'll see if it gets in utep and north texas friday afternoon we'll see you then